when did you first have this feeling that you wanted to be a priest or that God was calling you to something bigger? Um, I think I first had the idea or the inclination, um, like second grade, you know, getting ready for first communion, um, and that feeling just that, you know, that, that draw, um, you know, to, to the Lord, you know, in church, uh, it just stuck with me. Um, you know, there were a couple, a couple of moments where it was not just an idea, but it was real something coming from outside of myself. But then it was, I think in maybe late high school <clears throat> into college where then I could really say that. It was a person that I met in Jesus, you know, through through these people, through relationships with others, through friendship, being with you know friends, with with, with my brothers. We're on the same journey together, um, and whether we're playing foosball or you know, just you know, trying to get something off our chest, or you know, frustrations or joys, whatever it is, like just having that kind of open forum to be able to do that all the time um, what is, was has really been a blessing. It's hard because it's it's not just. You know, if I, if I go to my classes and get good grades, I'm ordained. It's like, no, we're going inside ourselves, trying to understand, you know, who I am, understand the, the person that God made me to be. And that's hard. Conversion is hard because every day I have to take off my old self and become more and more uh, the, the man that, that God um, has made me to be and is calling me to be. That fact, I visited the seminary um, in the spring of 2013, and I told them I was going. And, and it, you know, at that point, I hadn't made any commitment. I said, you know, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go check this out. The, the bus ride, you know, back from Miami. I called my dad and said, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to apply to seminary. Yeah, when I told, you know, my, my mom and my, my, my sisters, um, you know, friends and you know, family, it was, uh, there was ju just this acceptance and kind of a, maybe like a relief, like, okay, finally, <laughs> this is happening. Zach was, uh, he was always had a smile on his face. This is a guy that was in third grade, was reading at a ninth grade level, and uh, always have multiple books going. He didn't get it from his mom and dad, mm. so it had to come from God. When he was a baby, still in my arms, uh, Bishop Favalora was at Transfiguration for Confirmation. And when we left the church, we stopped to say hello, and. He asked us Zach's name, and we told him, Zachary, and, and then he said that he'll be a priest one day. Um, and I don't know if that's when I thought. I did tell that story to Bishop Favalora, and he asked me if he was that made him a prophet. I said, I don't know. We'll see. He's only in seminary right now. <laughs> so I think we always thought something like that. He's, he's like his mother. He never met anybody that didn't love him. I mean, just that kind of a personality that uh, just appealed to people and that drew people to him. He can be with people where they are. He can see what other people see and, and empathize with them and, and he just knows where they are. Yes, yeah, so one of my favorite experiences this year uh, has been practicing confession. For me, it was just to, to kind of have this taste of being with someone, uh, you know, seeking the Lord's mercy uh, in that way and to, to begin to see myself, I guess, the, 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 the vessel, you know, through that, where that mercy comes through. Um, like, I'm really excited for that. Just being that way for people to encounter the Lord in that very intimate and personal way. What would you say to a young person who is maybe discerning a vocational house? Somebody may be listening right now. Mm -hmm. What do you say to them? Um, I, would, I would say just baby steps. Um, you know, if you have that inclination that you're being called to, to be a priest or a, a sister, um, you know, sometimes we can get into our head like, um, oh, this is all, I have to do all this right now. Um, you no, know, like, just go. If you have that idea, talk to the vocations director. Talk to Father Chuck. Um, like, just have that conversation. Yeah, you can't just sit around waiting for something to happen. Just take that step. You know, if, if you feel inclined and the Lord's with you in that, like, just, yeah, just do it. You know, my vocation is very personal, it's very you know, unique to me, but it's part of something so much bigger um, than just myself.